your daily updates. Newsman Dennis Daly offers his take on the events of the day in another daily video blog. Hi and thanks again everybody. You know, I seem to do a lot of reports about the past. Highways that aren't there anymore, buildings that have disappeared. Well, we are standing along Glendale Boulevard in Los Angeles. And when I lived here in LA, twice a day I would drive through here on the way back and forth between my office and my apartment. And one of the fascinating things about that trip was being able to look down at the entrance to a tunnel that carried part of the light rail system in Los Angeles under this hill to downtown LA. And that area was used for the filming of a lot of rock videos. It was covered with graffiti. Why I never got a film or photos of that area, I don't know, because now it's not there anymore. There's a big high-rise apartment complex there, and you wonder whether the people who live in this high-rise apartment complex, the Belmont Station apartment homes, have any idea that they are living on top of history. For where the basement parking garage of this building is, used to be the long slope that went down into that tunnel entrance. And you can see there is somewhat of a hill here and it was necessary for those trains to be able to go down underground to finally come out in downtown Los Angeles. You might call looking for things in the past urban archaeology, for after the new buildings are built and the old lines are taken down, the grass grows, the cement dries, and it's hard to remember what it used to look like. Here is where Glendale Boulevard goes underneath Sunset Boulevard. It's very, very difficult to see where the old lines ran through here, but if you look very, very closely at that overpass, there are a few clues to the past. You'll see three eye bolts sticking out. Those were used to support the overhead wires. Aside from that and a few other remnants, it's hard to see any proof that one of the most popular lines of LA light rail went right through here. And Glendale was not the only destination. More than 50,000 a day were going through the Belmont Tunnel, but hundreds of thousands of others were traversing the entire LA basin. This massive system, begun in 1901, reached its full potential in the 1920s. It was nearly overused during World War II when having a car was a luxury. Finally, the city's combined red and yellow lines were dismantled in favor of buses. You may remember the demise of the system was part of the plot of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Building the system through LA's hilly terrain often presented some real problems. One section of our Glendale line posed a major concern. And what they decided to do was to make a major decision to not have service in this neighborhood. For this hill is pretty daunting. Not if you're driving a car, but you see trains of any kind can't go up and down very steep grades. So the planners of the rail system here in Los Angeles decided to move the rails way back there. And because the tracks were put in such an isolated area, the city had to provide ways for people to get up to the station, up to the tracks. And when you get to the top, if you're as winded as I am, this is what you see. A driveway that sits on what used to be a shelf of land where the tracks ran. They went along this ridge and then made a long turn across the river to get into Glendale. And they did so on a bridge that isn't there anymore. But it was over Fletcher Street and it was pretty spectacular. For it was here at Fletcher and Riverside in Los Angeles that that classic beautiful old rail system jumped a gap on two ledges between that hill and this one. And if you look closely, you can still see more clues as to that infrastructure. On the north side, you can see concrete abutments and the remnants of a stairwell that took people from the lower level up to the tracks. And on the south side, those aren't tombstones over there. 
They're concrete pilings that used to support the massive bridge that crossed Fletcher here in this part of LA. And eventually, here at this beautiful part of the Los Angeles River, the rail line would come down off the hilly ledge and cross the river on its own bridge. And these are the pilings, all that's left of the red cars before the conglomerates came and bought up the tracks, closed the system, and put in smelly, gas-guzzling buses that needed new tires all the time. There are still remnants out there of a more gentle era, but this one is really hidden away. You have to know how to find it, and I'm glad we did. I'm Dennis Daly with your daily news update.